Hello, uh, it seems as though it's not as straightforward as we first thought of making this thing in one part. The ball in the socket seems to need quite a lot of clearance before you can get it to to swivel uh, in the socket. Getting all the, the strands of, of plastic uh, from moving across from the ball to the socket and vice versa. So maybe the way to do it is to try and make it in two parts and somehow fit them together. Uh, uh, certainly if you want to make it like a captive unit where the ball is retained within the socket, I think we're going to have to make some ingenious modification to it to allow us to do that. So I've thought of one way of doing it and uh, here we go with that. Right you guys should have your ball and socket joint that you've already made and the first thing we're going to do is uh, disappear the ball part and we find the center and press the K key which will give us a sketch plane on the section now we're going to use the oops, sweeping arc And we start in the center and tab to the angle and we'll type in 45 tab that locks the 45 degree point click and drag around and type 90 return a straight line to the center and back to there and the pull tool and we see we've got a plane now we want to make a solid cutter out of this plane so to prevent it merging with socket we need to uncheck the socket so we've only got the surface pull tool select now we're going to pull in that direction, we'll say 0 0.05, return, and to make it symmetrical, point the, pull the same amount on the other side. Changing its name to cutter. Okay. Is we're going to put some little radii on these corners this will put radii in the inner corners of the cuts which will re relieve any stresses that might occur in the corners of the slots so we're going to put point zero two five radius on that so we've got uh, a radius here Now we can bring back our socket and make it face us. Oops. Then we're going to Make sure that the anchor is down the middle of the cutter object and the create patterns is selected and we're going to rotate this round till we get about I'll do we've got uh, now we've got one, two, three, four, eight petals we're going to make. And we're going to do this by using the combine tool. Select the target object. We'll select that up here in the structure tree. Now we've got a cutter in our cursor. We'll select the pattern 
Now watch down round the corner of the junction between the, the socket and the cutter. You'll see like a little line appear. You see that? That indicates that we've cut through using the cutter tool. So if we turn the pattern off, cursor changes into a divided block, dark and transparent, which means we can click on these parts and remove them. Escape key. And now we've got our socket made into a socket with petals. So depending on what material you use, you might be able to push the ball into that and click it nicely in. So turning the ball back on, you may be able to push it together and it'll click into position. And now you can make your tolerance quite tight in here so that you've got a bit of friction in fact and it'll hold the ball in a place that you set and you can in fact make it as free as you like a certain amount of gap and put some lubrication in even and case it in a in a boot and pack it all with lubrication there you are endless possibilities so that's something for you lads to play with uh, hope you find that interesting and it could be useful. I want to see a few of these made. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye.